Hello, uh, this uh, video about uh, removing uh, water from a gas tank. Um, I found this product on uh, on the market, so I just uh, I thought to just give it a test to see uh, if it works or not. And I just want to share with you the the result of what I found, and then it's up to you to decide whether you think it's working or not. Um, I'm not recommending anything. This is just what I have right now. There is a yellow can and a and a and a red can, but this is says it says uh, injector cleaner, water remover, also uh, so an injector cleaner, and this is only says uh, gas line antifreeze and water remover. So I believe the red one is more expensive, uh, if I remember. But I'm just gonna try the red one for this for now to see if it works or not. Uh, so anyway, this is a 12 ounces can, so. Uh, it says uh, to use it with a 20 gallon uh, tank and it specifically also said if you read in the back it says uh, I don't know if it shows it here but it says to yeah it says here this bottle for a 20 gallon tank and um, removes water and condensation in a warm wet weather so we have to put line under that Okay, so I'm just going to do my best to demonstrate as much as I can and this video only for uh, demonstration purposes only. I'm not recommending to buy it or not to buy it, it's up to you. Um, also be careful, uh, don't try this home, this is gasoline, very uh, flammable uh, substance and um, since I don't have a 20 gallon uh, <coughs> gas tank, I'm going to try it with this. 500 millimeter container that's what I'm gonna use only 500 millimeter I'm gonna do the math with you right now and correct me if I'm wrong I'm gonna go to the other table and do the math uh, to see how much I should add from this to this and also I'm gonna add water and uh, we're gonna see it together okay so as it says it says a 20 gallon uh, of gas you need to use a full can and this is 12 ounces so since I have all the measurement in, uh, in millimeter uh, let's do this let me see if I could turn this light on or off I mean okay so 12 ounces 20 gallons so if I convert this to a millimeter it's gonna come out to 75,708 give or take mil and uh, the 12 ounces converted to mil is going to be 355 mil okay so since I have a 500 millimeter container I'm gonna divide this by 151 it's gonna come out to 500 mil and I'm gonna divide also this by 151 is gonna give me 2.3 mil so for 500 mil I have to use 2.3 mil so this number is is, uh, is uh, it's approximate okay so I'm just gonna use a bravo I'm gonna use probably two and a half or two three mil for the 500 mil so just to get the general idea uh, of course a 20 gallon uh, 12 ounces probably has a different effect but at least you get a overall idea of what's gonna happen so I'm gonna use 500 mil to 3 mil here and um, I'm probably gonna add also uh, 3 mil of water to to the gasoline to see uh, whether this is gonna remove the water or is gonna do something else let's try this together let's go back to the table okay, as you can see this is uh, it's a 500 mil container I'm gonna add gas into this and uh, put it in this glass container. Okay. So let's do this. This is regular gas, by the way. Okay, so this is. 
roughly 500. <clears throat> Gonna bore it here. Just a little bit. Some of the rib out. I'll compensate it for a little bit more. Okay. So this what came off. I'm just gonna add a little bit, just to be as close as possible. Okay. As you can see, this gas, there is no water in it, as clear as possible here. Let me bring a, a light so maybe I can show it better. Okay. So as you can see, there is no water anywhere. Okay, so let's add water to this. I'm gonna add uh, where is that red line is uh, three three mil water. Just make sure you see this right. This is very much give or take a three mil water. All right, so I'm gonna bore it here, and what notice what's gonna happen to the fuel. Okay. See the water at the bottom. Let me turn this light off. Okay, do you see the water at the bottom? Oh, you can't, I'm not sure. All right. It's right there. It's moving on its own at the bottom. Okay, let me bring my camera closer. This is water right there, where the line is. Let me try again. You can see it, it's moving on its own. That's the water. It's right there. Okay, and imagine the same amount to convert to 20 gallon. <coughs> so, This. All right, so now we're gonna add um, this heat thing. I'm gonna add, um, let me clean this. I'm gonna clean this from the water in it. Sure, it's all clean. Okay, so we're gonna add the uh, same amount of water but heat. Just make sure I control this. Okay, so that's very much is the same amount. If I am not mistaken, here is the water remover. Okay. 
Just gonna let it sit for a little bit. You still see the water there. If you notice. You can see the color is a little bit it's whiter, it's different than the yellow gas. Okay, so I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna shake it. Just sit for a bit. You can see it, it's forming down there. Right there, the water is moving at the bottom, but let it sit. <clears throat> of course, it, say, it says in a, in a hot weather, in a hot, wet weather. So, I'm gonna bring that condition to the time. I'm gonna heat this, uh, this glass container a little bit, so make sure this is goes away. If you notice, the, the water is right there, still. Okay. I'm not a scientist, uh, I'm just trying to see if these things work or not. I'm gonna let it sit for probably 5 or 10 minutes and I'll uh, come back uh, in a few. Okay, this is a few minutes later, still there. But it looks like it takes time to do its job. Um, you have to remember the, go the car is moving, then the gas moves in the tank like this. So I just want to see where it's going to stop. Let me turn this light on. See the water, it's, it's moving like ocean waves. All right, let me heat this a little bit, get this out of the way. Again, this is just I'm trying to prove to myself before I prove to you that this is working or not. So you could just see it in the glass. Let me heat this a little bit. It looks like it does work in uh, heat, heat in, uh, in hot weather condition, but um, that's what we see. And again, uh, when you use uh, this on a gas tank, the whole thing, it says to use it every 6,000, I believe. Let me see. It says to use it every 5,000 miles on this one. On the yellow one, it says to use it every... I'm not sure it says here it every 6. I can't read it's too small, but anyway, the, the, this one it says 5,000, and it specifically also it says do not use use it in a two-cycle engine. Okay, and this is made for uh, cars and trucks most likely. So let's see what happened here. Seem to start to mix up a little bit with it. It's right there at the bottom, but it's the color is changing, turning into close to yellow. Let it sit a little bit more. Seems the more you let it sit, the better it gets. But um, again, I can see the water change. The water color changes from uh, from white to yellow. You could see it is swimming there, but 
the whiteness it's gone most likely of course it takes more time for the chemical uh, uh, to react to, to each other but um, let me turn the slide off again probably you can see it it's uh, more yellow let me bring the camera closer to it as you can see it's very much it's uh, There is a reflection of the light, but that's not the color of the stuff. <coughs> Should I get a better picture? Okay. So anyway, I'll leave it up to you to decide. It looks like it's working. Yeah, the more it sits, the good, the more the better it gets. Okay, here's a closer look. All right. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching.